I would like to go into the question of what does it mean that a human being should bring about a deep, profound change in himself. We are asking, is it possible to bring about a fundamental psychological revolution, deep, abiding, irrevocable change, transformation. One has lived as a limited, contained, narrow individual, and it is very, very difficult to see the truth that you are the rest of mankind, that in you is the whole of man. That is, you as a human being is part of the world. You are the world, not an idea not something that is intellectually has been put together by reason and you say, yes, quite right, but the reality of the truth of it, that you represent as a human being the rest of humanity, because you suffer, you are anxious, you are uncertain, confused, miserable, fearful, hurt, everything, and every human being has this. So your consciousness is the consciousness of mankind. Now is this possible for sorrow to end? If there is the ending of sorrow in one human being, who is the representative of all humanity, that ending affects the whole of consciousness of man. Don't accept what we are talking about. Find out, test it. That means you have to be free to observe. To observe without any wish, any longing, any pressure, any, you know, to observe that is to observe a lovely flower. I wonder why human beings throughout the world don't see this simple fact that you cannot possibly have peace on earth if you are nationalistically divided. We want order outside, in the world, politically, religiously, economically, socially, in our relationship with each other, we want order, we want some peace, we want some understanding. And you, if the inward psychological state is not orderly, not conflicting, not contradicting, if that state in consciousness is quiet, steady, clear, then you can bring about order in the world. Now what we are trying to do is try to bring order legislatively, nationally and so on, order out there in the world which has been proved over and over again that totally brings about disorder. That's why we are saying, I'm speaker, I'm saying that without inward order, that is, the inward order in consciousness, which is in a mess, which is in a contradiction, without 
bringing about order inwardly, psychologically, you cannot possibly have order outwardly. And the crisis is there. We have all, within the crisis, national, economic, social, and so on. The crisis is not out there. The crisis is really inward. And we are unwilling to face that. 